Claude versus ChatGPT, which AI should you use? I've tested them both side by side and the result might actually surprise you. Most people have heard of ChatGPT, but Claude is just starting to make its way into the mainstream. In fact, I even saw a Claude commercial during a nationally televised football game just this past weekend, so it's definitely hitting the mainstream now. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the basics of each platform, show you five real-world tasks where I tested them head-to-head, -head, and then give you a final verdict that will help you decide which tool is right for you. So let's start with the basics so you know what we're comparing. ChatGPT is OpenAI's flagship conversational AI. It's widely used, has free and paid tiers, and powers a lot of tools people already know. Things like writing help, code assistance, custom GPTs, and AI image generation. Claude is Anthropic's conversational AI. It's newer but growing quickly with free and paid tiers as well. Claude is often noted for producing very natural human sounding writing and it has a reputation for being careful and safe minded in how it responds. At a high level, both tools can answer questions, write emails, brainstorm ideas, summarize documents, and explain things in plain English. They overlap a lot, which is why at first glance they can feel interchangeable. But once you actually use them, the differences start to show. For our first head to head test, let's start with something simple that almost every professional needs at some point a short reminder email. The prompt I gave both Claude and ChatGPT was, write a short, polite reminder email for a client appointment tomorrow. And here's what it came back with. Claude's version was friendly and polite. ChatGPT's version was also friendly and polite. Both were clear, professional, and usable. And that's the point. For straightforward tasks like this, you really can't go wrong with either tool. But once we move beyond simple stuff like a reminder email, that's where you start to see some separation between Claude and ChatGPT. Now, before we get into the rest of the head-to-head -head demos, let's zoom out and talk about the big picture differences between these two platforms. Because when you're choosing between Claude and ChatGPT, it's not just about the output they generate, it's about the whole experience of using them. Claude has a very clean and minimal interface. ChatGPT, on the other hand, has more menus and options to wade through. Claude's personality can feel a little warmer and more conversational, while ChatGPT can come across more structured and formal. When it comes to features, ChatGPT has some things that Claude does not, specifically custom GPTs and AI image generation. For memory, there's also a difference. ChatGPT does a better job of remembering what you've talked about across different conversations. Claude only remembers what's happening in the current chat and sometimes loses track in really long sessions. In terms of speed, ChatGPT is often a bit snappier. Claude can take a little longer, but that sometimes makes its responses feel more thoughtful. On pricing, both have free plans and both have paid tiers around $20 per month. For trust and guardrails, Claude is more cautious about the kinds of requests it'll answer. If something feels sensitive, Claude is more likely to hold back. ChatGPT is usually more flexible, but it can also be more confident when it gets something wrong. And then there's the ecosystem. Claude works well as a standalone platform for writing and conversation. ChatGPT, on the other hand, has grown into a broader platform with projects, custom GPTs, and the early stages of AI agents. Now let's head back into the head-to-head -head demos and see these differences in action. For the next head-to-head -head test, I gave both Claude and ChatGPT a chunk of confusing legal text to see how well it could simplify it. The prompt was, summarize this hotel Wi-Fi terms document in plain English. And here's what it came back with. Claude produced a short bullet point list that was clear and easy to scan. ChatGPT also gave a summary, but it was not quite as clean. It felt a little wordier and less organized. So in this case, Claude takes the edge. Next up, I asked both Claude and ChatGPT to build a simple action plan. The prompt was, create a three-day action plan for preparing for a local business expo and include the reasoning for each step. And here's what it came back with. Claude produced a more detailed plan with extra content behind each recommendation. It included not only the tasks, but also explanations for why those tasks mattered. ChatGPT's version was shorter and more structured. It was clear and easy to follow, but it left out some of the extra nuance. So in this example, Claude has the advantage if you want more depth and granularity. However, if you'd just rather get something fast and to the point, you might prefer ChatGPT. For the next test, I gave both Claude and ChatGPT a messy draft of a workplace coffee area policy. The prompt was, 
rewrite this policy so it's clear and professional. And here's what it came back with. Claude rewrote the policy, but the result was still pretty long and dense. It felt more like a wall of text than something quick and scannable you'd actually want to pin up in the break room. ChatGPT's version, on the other hand, was much more concise. It broke the information down into clear points that were easy to read and follow. So in this example, I'm giving ChatGPT the edge. For the next test, I asked both Claude and ChatGPT to analyze a small sales table and explain which product was performing best and why. And here's what it came back with. ChatGPT delivered the results almost instantly. It broke down the numbers into a clear, structured explanation and even highlighted the key insight so you could see the answer at a glance. Claude, on the other hand, took noticeably longer, about two or three minutes longer. And when it finally did respond, the explanation was accurate, but it came back as one long block of text that buried the main point. So in this example, ChatGPT clearly comes out ahead. So when you analyze numbers or want to get a quick read on data, ChatGPT is usually faster and easier to work with. So what's the verdict? If your main priority is natural human sounding writing, the kind that feels detailed, expressive, and a little more conversational, you might lean towards Claude. It does especially well with long documents, detailed plans, and text that needs a natural human touch. If your priority is speed, clarity, structured output, or the ability to grow into a wider set of tools like custom GPTs, AI image generation, or even the early stages of AI agents, ChatGPT may be the better fit. Both are powerful, both can handle everyday tasks, but depending on what you need most, one might feel like a better fit for you. Now, me personally, I use ChatGPT. Not because Claude is not good. In fact, I'd probably give Claude a slight edge in pure writing and brainstorming. But ChatGPT feels more like a Swiss army knife. It's versatile, it's fast, and it gives me a broad set of capabilities I can tap into whenever I need them. For me, that range outweighs the slight trade-off in writing style. Either way, now you know the key differences and similarities between Claude and ChatGPT and you can decide with confidence which one makes the most sense for you. And if you're curious about how other tools compare in this space, I've got a video where I walk you through the five best ChatGPT alternatives, and you can watch that video right here.